on IWTV News. Down the stretch they come. The Good Doctor, John and G. Marshall Wellness Center getting well and fast. Disney World, here they come. The Iowa Western Cheer Team flipping out in one of the happiest places on Earth. Earth to students, get ready. Here comes the white stuff once again. All hands on deck. One of the top wrestling teams in the country grappling in Weber Arena. From the campus of Iowa Western, you're watching IWTV News. Hello and welcome to IWTV News. I'm JJ Davis. You know, you see it every day. In fact, you can't miss it. I'm talking the Dr. John and G. Marshall Wellness Center. It's beginning to take shape and looking good. Just how good in fact? Well, let's let the expert take it from here. Spring 2018. Fall later that same year. Winter 2019. The heavy lifting continues for the Dr. John and G. Marshall Wellness Center. Construction, right on schedule. Yep, all the sides are up. We're actually starting to close it in a little bit. Uh, where I think we're on the downhill slide most of it because the interior stuff, there's not a lot of interior finish to this. Putting concrete in, we're getting our mezzanine built, uh, roofs are going on, and then interior finish is a lot of just finished block work. So not a lot of walls need built up yet or anything like that, just flooring. Doesn't have a lot of uh, framed up walls inside of it because we're just doing sports athletics type areas. So we have concrete as our walls so that they don't get damaged. So it's really uh, depends on the type of the building as far as finish work. They're up on the roof. They're starting obviously from the uh, west, moving to the east on the, on the domed roof for the turf area. The weather's actually been cooperating a little bit. I mean, it's been cold and the site is muddy, but really um, it's, it's cooperating fairly well because uh, we're the snow, they can put the heat in the building that takes the snow off of the roof so they can still work on the roofing and do the roofing. Contractors themselves start seeing the, the seeing it come together and enjoying what their, the fruits of their labor, you know, so to speak. We're looking for the middle of June, looking for the middle of June uh, 2019. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to hit that. They're pretty adamant that they're going to hit it. And so they hit the ground running in the spring of 2018. Full speed ahead in the fall. Light at the end of the tunnel in the winter of 2019. And in June, game over. The Dr. John and G. Marshall Wellness Center will be the center for physical and mental well-being as well as just some plain old fun. It's coming. June's going to be here before you know it. And what perchance do the students and faculty have to look forward to? A 92,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility cardio, strength training equipment. And you know it doesn't hurt, not just physically experts have found, but as we've heard in the past, mentally to help ease the pressures of everyday life. Indoor turf, field house, weather will no longer be a factor in training for Iowa Western student athletes. Basketball, volleyball courts, fun stuff. So it's looking good for the Dr. John and G. Marshall Wellness Center. Opening soon, real soon, and like I said, June will be here before you know it. Did you know we had a top 10 showdown? That's right, the Reavers look to take down some Panthers. But next up, let it snow when we come back. From the campus of Iowa Western, this is IWTV News. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And, and if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. 
Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah. I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. Texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Sometimes, the things we do or say can make others feel hurt, Such a weirdo. excluded, or isolated. Everything you say and do creates an impact. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Because of you, someone's entire life can change. You don't have to be a superhero to have a positive impact. Friends? Friends. I've heard this bunch almost every day for months. Seen them sweating it out almost every day. And now, it's Judgment Day. The Iowa Western Cheer Team is off to Disney World. Not just a date with the mouse, but how about a natty championship? Refuse to sink, that's the motto. But as far as I'm concerned, victory is in the attempt. The Reavers have already won. They've been taping up since August of 2018. A high energy team of 16 sign on to not only spread cheer Here we go, Reavers! Here we go! on campus, but lay the groundwork for a national championship. But yeah, well, Two months ago, um, gosh, they've grown tremendously. Over those two months, they've totaled probably close to 750 reps now. 750 reps. Well, I'm so yes, so each individual skill in their routine, they've done approximately that many times. Seven women and nine men, four sophomores and 12 freshmen. Visualize a two and a half minute routine worthy of a natty type. I think we're ready. Everybody just has to see their fullest potential. I mean, I love every single person that's out on that mat, and I wouldn't want to take the mat with anyone else. The thing that sets us off for most teams is that we are willing to do the skills, and regardless of the temporary pain that we're feeling now and all the injuries that we have, we're always willing to just keep going and keep pushing. Nobody's scared to try anything. Like, Good. we just keep doing reps and reps and reps until we get it, and everybody just keeps trying for it. Like, I love that about this team. I've been on teams where people don't do it. They'll just say no. What separates the team this year from the team last year is the unity. Um, you can have 16 really talented individuals, but if they can't figure out how to become a family, it'll never come together and work. So it is specifically choreographed and designed for the 16 individuals that are out on that map. They have extreme difficulty in their routine. The pyramids they're throwing, the elite stunts they're throwing this year are D1 level um, skills. So, I mean, to say that you have these freshmen coming in that are already throwing Division I pyramids and um, top-notch elites, that's really cool. Oh, that's dope! Raven's given us a lot, like, even outside of cheerleading. She does everything for us. Like, she's always got our backs. Like, no matter what, she's a friend more so than a coach. It's amazing. I mean, the school gives second chances to people that otherwise would be stuck in a college that they didn't want to be at or at home just working in a restaurant. Like, this college has done so much for me. And I'm so proud to wear Reavers. It doesn't start out that way. Um, it's a lot of falling, a lot of bruises, a lot of good. Hell yeah. messing it up before it actually comes together. It would mean everything. I mean, it's what we've been working for since I started cheerleading in my sophomore year of high school. I just won a national championship. To me, 
it would mean the absolute world and even for a whole team it's just like you just feel the hard work finally pay off one team one team one heart one heart one goal one goal i cannot stop i don't think there would be anything that would make me more proud and that's proud of them as individuals because ultimately i'm their guide along this way in the journey but they're the ones out there putting in the hard work um, and sacrificing. Something that I said two months ago to them was, if you can sacrifice now, you could live the rest of your life a champion. The Iowa Western Cheer Team performs like champions in front of some friendly faces. Next up, the final test at Nationals in Orlando, Florida. The journey, almost complete. And at the end, well, Little do these young men and women realize they've already won. Not a bad day to keep it indoors, huh? Thanks again, once again, to Mother Nature. I think she's got a thing for snow. I mean, it's everywhere. Here's IWTV student E.J. Wren. Monday morning and it feels like temperature is 4 degrees Fahrenheit. How are the Reavers handling the cold? I just have to like wear a coat and hat to class and to practice and stuff, so that's the biggest thing. The truck doesn't start too well anymore when it's cold, but it's all right. You know, it's, it's, it's cold, it's tough. You know, I stay in my room more. I don't really be going out as much. It's cool. You know, I had a snow fight. You know, that's about it. Honestly, it affected my day-to-day -day life regardless because I'm not used to this. I'm from Georgia, so I'm used to humidity and all that. Um, not too much. Uh, I still, still practice indoors and as a baseball player, so I, not really too much. Um, during the winter, you kind of just have to stay inside, and I'm kind of used to that. Yeah, it has. Uh, I've noticed like my, my body is a little sore, I guess, from the cold, just not being warm, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm used to this weather, but it's a little, it's a little colder down here, but um, pretty much the same. Where I'm from, the weather kind of changes throughout the day. It could go from raining to snow to a tornado at any given time, so I'm kind of used to it for the most part. No, no. It's, it get or it get like the coldest it gets in Texas is like 45, 30, 30 at most. Yeah, so I've never been in the negative like this. It's a whole new experience. It get cold, but like I ain't like never seen snow. What have I been doing to stay warm? Just bundling up, uh, lots of sweatshirts, pants, uh, shorts underneath the pants. You know, just. Try to stay out of the cold as much as I can. For the most part, just trying to keep moving. You know, I'm still trying to figure that out, bro. I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, that's, I, I haven't found a solution to that yet. Uh, made sure I got my hat, my gloves. Got to stay warm. I thought I was prepared, but I'm, I'm not. I never will be. Not. Um, just going to baseball practice and class and Hanging out with the guys, I guess, is about it. Um, I wear five shirts a day. Five, five shirts and jackets a day. Sadly, temps won't be warming up anytime soon. For some, this is just another winter in the Midwest. For others, this is their first time seeing snow. Either way, be safe in the frigid conditions. With your IWTV News, I'm DJ Wren. Thanks, EJ. Hey, the scores are in, and the winner is the cheer team on top the pyramid. Count down the Nationals, the Reaver wrestling team continuing to build after the break. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? 
Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Yeah, they're not home that often. What, just three times in fact? So when they are, you gotta get out and support them. The eighth ranked Iowa Western Wrestling Team is gearing up for the finale at the Mid-America Center in February. Now, the national tournament is where it simply matters the most. So every match, every duel is another stepping stone, another brick. Well, construction continues against the always tough Panthers. Eighth-ranked Big Blue ready to rock against number six, Ellsworth. 125-pounders, the Reavers' Isaac Garcia takes down Carter Cox. The freshman escapes in the second period. Garcia walks away with a three-zip win. 133, Daniel Leal just throws down to Reese Shirley for two. The freshman with some back points. Leal takes it by major decision, 17-3. 157. Here he comes. Michael Zachary does everything but pin Zach Garza. The sophomore major decision 14 to 4. Iowa Western grabs an 11-8 lead, but the Panthers win the next three matches. Guy Sundeman here gets rolled 12 to 2 at 165. Brandon Burgos drops a decision, and then here at 184, Tim Barr escapes but loses by one. Suddenly, Ellsworth's on top, 18-11. Two matches later, freshman Cortez Woods almost sticks Pat De Piazza at 285, 10-3. But it's too little, too late. The Panthers outscore the Reavers, 24-14. I knew it was going to come down to it. It came down to the last two weight classes, just like it did last time. And uh, we lost some matches that we were in and, and could have won, you know, at 97. Um, and then a couple other weight classes, we let them get away from us a little too quickly. Finishing periods better. Um, I felt like we were at the, end of the, at the end of the periods, we had 20, 30 seconds left. And we hand fought and we pressured, but we didn't pull the trigger on offense. Uh, and I want to try to end each period with a score. I had a pretty good opponent, you know, he was tough. Uh, I could have executed my moves more on neutral, um, but I wrote him out pretty good, and I was pretty proud of that. I was just trying to feel him out and see what he was going to do, and I just knew he couldn't score on me, even if he got to my legs. I knew I had enough balance and strength to, to handle all his shots so I could counter it, but I just was waiting for my shots, my double legs, so I could reshoot and take him down, and it happened three different times. I find myself on top a lot. That's where I really start to work. Um, I like to go to a claw, wrist. That's where I usually get the majority of my back points. What's the score? Okay, we have too many guys. We're right there. I thought controlled the center pretty well. Um, I thought we controlled the pace pretty well. I thought our cardio looked better. Um, so I, I think we're on track to be where we need to be. Iowa Western has one more home match left Thursday, January 31st against Nyack. New York Reavers! Good job, man. The Reavers then hit the road for the Midwest duels. 
Now check out those scores. Easy peasy. Eighth ranked Iowa Western goes 4-0. Does it ever. Now Burgos and Stewart each do not lose. And Coach Watts, hey, I thought the guys wrestled aggressively to score points. Good deal. Now remember, Nationals, Friday and Saturday, March 1st and 2nd at the Mid-America Center. Turning to some basketball. Now, last time I saw the women run with Northeast, last game last year. I won't forget it, and I'm sure they haven't either. Iowa Western hosts Northeast. First quarter, Ariana Brown with the floater. The Hawks grab an early 4-1 lead. Amy Brett stops and pops it for the Reavers. The home team trails 10-5. Freshman from Australia with the putback. Brett finishes with 7 points. 18 all after the first quarter. In the second, Nene Williams for 3. And it's good. Dee Dee Davis with the catch and shoot for 3. Iowa Western goes up 31-30. Brett making a rain. The Reavers score nine three-pointers in the game. Big Blue grabs a 39-35 lead going into the half. Second half, the visitors Ariana Brown drives and scores. The Hawks trail by one. Iowa Western right back at it as Williams stops and drops it. 46-44 Reavers. Julia Soon lays it up. The Reavers trail 51-48 going into the final quarter. Sumer Blackmore on the wing. Iowa Western outscores Northeast 19 to 10 in the quarter. Kira Dolman with two of her eight points. As William creates some space, Nene with a team high 14 points as Iowa Western takes it 67 to 61. And it was concerning to me because we had such a slow start, you know, and we actually had some people that came off the bench to really spark us and get us going and getting us into the flow of things. I think Amy was one of them. But, um, and then again, coming out of, of halftime, we kind of got complacent and just a little bit too comfortable and then um, just, you know, not being able to convert on some easy plays or, you know, giving up some easy stuff. So all I realized was that we had to just attack and from there just read every, read the defense and just play. Like, we have strong guards, so I don't think uh, attacking wasn't hard to do. It just opened up a lot for us, scoring-wise, and just dishing the ball out to our post that they really couldn't guard. Well, for me, I just wanted to come off the bench and just give a bit of energy because it was a bit low um, on the court. But yeah, I just thought I'd come in, uh, try my hardest, you know. I, I would see what would come to me. I think for the most part, it's about mental toughness and being able to put together a full game. The Reavers tip off conference play with a win. Iowa Western has yet to lose this year. For IOW TV Sports, I'm Terry Wellman. And then there's the men. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. League games are on the menu, so it's time to buckle down and get one in the win column. Reavers come charging out against Northeast Community College. First half, Caleb Huffman outside with three. Then inside to Manny Ugbo. The sophomore muscles it up. Big Blue trails eight to seven. Seneca Lewis goes up and won. Iowa Western grabs a 21-18 lead. Christian Bentley flying down court. Sophomore slams it down. Huffman with the stuff. Reavers are up by 20, 50 to 30 at half. Second half, the Hawks trying to keep it close. Ben Moxness pours in three of his team high 20 points. The home team too many weapons. Trayvon Broadway answers back 56-53 Big Blue. Caleb Huffman with two of his game high 27. Nico Johnson with the finish. Iowa Western pulls away 102 to 67. I think Willard Anderson had a tremendous game. I thought he had a major impact in this game. He's a guy that has the right mentality. He's the kind of guy you look for when you're recruiting. We got a good team, and like we don't slack off even when it goes to the bench. Like we got a good five, and then our our bench is great. We, we had so much momentum. It was just the game was just flowing. So. 
We were just playing, just getting easy buckets, looking for each other. You know, I enjoy coming to work with these guys because I know what I'm going to get each day from an effort standpoint, from an execution standpoint, and so then we can build off that. Reavers claim their first conference win in our 1-1 one and one in the ICCAC. For IWTV Sports, I'm Adam Ireland. Thanks, Adam. And finally, top of the pyramid, the Iowa Western Cheer Team and the results from Orlando on the other side. Listen, you're my friend. I noticed you haven't really been yourself recently. Yeah, I feel like something's up. How are you? Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? I just want to know how you're feeling. And listen, even if you don't know what to say, I'm here to talk. No matter what you're going through, I just want you to know I'm here. I've got your back. When you want to talk, I'm here. <laughs> Drop that baby. Center, opening summer of 2019, Iowa Western. Okay, we've seen them sweating it out, heard from them, and now to the fruits of their labor. Does it pay off? The Iowa Western cheer team does its thing at national. So how'd it go? Well, let's take a look. Warming up, getting some final training in before it's showtime. And I love that picture, the focus, the readiness. Iowa Western comes out in the semifinals. Now the Reavers throw up the hardest routine, degree of difficulty just through the roof. Big Blue places third heading into the finals. Now when it's all said and done, Iowa Western takes third place. Shelton State is first, Jones County second, followed by the Reavers. So congrats to first year head coach Raven Gow and her team. The Big Blue Cheer Team, a lot to be proud of. And you know, as I said earlier in the show, to me the cheer team already won before it left town because victory is in the attempt. And everything else, just icing on the cake. And we're done. <laughs> And so for this latest edition of IWTV News, I'm J.J. Davis. And as always, I'll see you around campus. IWTV is online. Like us, follow us, watch us.